This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and I recently received a great package from the folks at OzLockCon. If you're not familiar with OzLockCon, it is a conference focused on lock sport and physical security. It will be taking place June 3rd through 4th in Melbourne, Australia. So if you are interested in learning more about it, I will put a link in the description below to their website, and you can follow that link to get some more information. Now they sent me two locks. The first is a challenge lock that was built off a Lockwood Model 234. And as you can see, it has some really impressive engraving of the logo for OzLockCon. Really some incredible skill, whoever put that on there. And what's on the inside demonstrates just as much skill because I have tried twice to shoot a video of opening this lock and I failed both times. I did open it once when the lock first came in, but as they say, if it's not on video, it doesn't count. And I'm starting to think that I just got lucky that first time because I've had no luck since. So I hopefully will be bringing this to you in another video soon. However, for now, it is giving me way too much trouble. Next, we have a uniquely Australian lock. It's known as a hot dog lock. It's a variation of a standard tubular lock, but it has the pins deeply set into it. I was able to find some literature on it on the internet, and it says that it contains pick-proof technology. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I was able to detect some security pins in here. So it is one of the few tubular locks out there with security pins in it. To reach those pins, you could you can see that you really do need a uniquely shaped key, and this lock doesn't disappoint. The key is really cool. It comes in this little container. You open it up, and you have these little fingers that reach out and set each of the pins. So the lock would work like this. You insert the key, and then turn it to open it. So. This is what would be on the outside, and as you can see, we have a steel faceplate on it. On the inside of the door, you can see it is brass, and it actually has a little hex wrench shaped fitting in there. So if you were picking it from the inside, it would be really, really easy to tension just by sticking a, a hex wrench in there, and I've actually done that before, and it's not hard at all to pick using this. However, from the outside, it gets a little bit more complicated. We do have to be creative with our tensioning. So let me throw this in the vise, and we'll see if we can get this thing open. Okay, there we go, I think that'll do the trick. And what I came up to, to use for picking this is two tools. To pick the pins themselves, I'm going to be using this small Allen wrench, and to tension it, I'm going to use this small 50 thousandths thick wiper insert. Then I'm just going to stick in the top of that collar and I'm going to push it pretty much as hard as I can because this lock does, does like some very heavy tension. If I, uh oh, if I do get in the way of the camera while I'm picking, I apologize in advance, but it's pretty difficult to, to pick this without the fingers crowding the camera view. So let's get started. One's loose, two's loose, little click on three, Click on four, click on five, click on six, back to one, which is still loose, two's loose. Little click on three, nothing on four, click on five, click on six, one is still loose, two is binding, got a little click and we went into a false set. Three feels set, four feels set, five, six, okay, one, that's, I think we just, okay, there we go. I got some counter rotation and we just set one. 
And as you can see, this is now, well, hopefully you'll be able to see, it can now be turned. Okay, now when it's in this position right here, between the pin positions, you can actually use the lock to impression a key simply by inserting some wires, measuring the depths, and probably rubber banding or taping them around some sort of dowel or something like that. However, if you were not going to make your own key for it, what you would have to do is move it to that position and then pick it six more times, or I'm sorry, five more times to make a complete rotation. So it would take you a while to open up a lock like this. So really, really interesting. Unfortunately, we are not able to gut this because it does have a permanently installed pin holding it together and they are very rare locks. So I am not going to be drilling this out. I actually need to send it back to the folks in Australia and I presume they want it back in one piece. So really, really interesting locks. The folks at Oslock Con sent me awesome challenge lock. Whoever put the pins in that thing, incredible work. And this hot dog lock, a really interesting little lock that I have never seen or even heard of before but is still pretty impressive. So that's all I have for you today on this Australian hot dog lock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.